Hello everyone, welcome back to Oscar B Studios. My name is Manata, and as usual, here we talk about all things Nollywood, Nollywood movies, Nollywood series. If that's your cup of tea, this is the place to be. All right, so today I'm going to be talking about hmm, how will I title this video now? See, I don't know how to title it. If I figure it out, I'll put it in the thumbnail. But I'm going to be talking about like production companies or directors, and like if you're looking for a specific type of genre is it general we'll call it or <laughs> genre or a, a type of movie that you want to watch like whatever class of movie you're trying to watch i'm going to be talking about i'm going to be talking about the people i think do this kind of movies the most i don't know if I, am i making sense so produ producers or production companies and the type of movies that they put out that like their own what i believe that they are good at bringing out does it make sense? If it does not make sense, please just follow me. I'm saying it, you understand what I mean? All right. So you know how we have like romance, we have thrillers, we have actions, we have comedy, and we have people that like production companies or producers or writers or whatever or directors that are good at certain certain kind of movies. I personally check out if I want if I'm looking for like a good romance type movie. There are some channels I'll just go to and look for them. And I'm going to be doing this list based on YouTube. Maybe if, I, if I'm feeling very nice, I can do some on Netflix. The people that I remember on Netflix, I can talk about them. So let us start. The very first production company or producer that does... I'll start with romance because romance or romantic comedies are my favorite um, genres of movie or series, whatever. I enjoy them a lot. And that's what I'll look for every time I go on YouTube. So if you're looking for a channel that they produce... Um, romance simple romance no complication just boy meets girl like enemies to lovers type of trope all those type of things if you're looking for somebody or if you're looking for a channel i will recommend you check out udwak isong's channel on youtube so you can search for closer pictures or udwak isong she does to me she's the best at simplistic romance like just no complications, all those mm, mm, cheating. Well, maybe I, I've seen maybe like one or two of her movies that there was like cheating inside. She doesn't play like that. And this day she she partners with Mazini, Mazini Production, and their storyline, everything is always so beautiful. She loves to use Daniel, Bimbo, Ekama. She loves to use like people that we love to see, and she gives us simple romance so if that's what you're looking for if that's your cup of tea check out the songs channel on youtube moving on another person that does romance too that is quite similar to the song is her sister mme song royal arts tv she does romance too and it's they, are, they have quite similar vibes i enjoy them too but that simple romance i start to give the song because she, this mm sometimes she dabbles into complications <laughs> no no but Udwak, M.M. does that too, romance, and uh, yeah, I think those two for romance. I don't want to mention everybody, because everybody dabbles into romance, but when I look for simple romance, Udwak is song and um, M.M. is song. Now moving, maybe more romantic comedy, like plain comedies, I hardly, I don't watch them. I can't remember last time I put on and I was looking for comedy type movie but maybe romantic comedies i'll say ruth kadiri she tries like she has some there are some movies that she has that is funny <laughs> like the lot so she does romantic comedies not just not pure romance just romantic comedies she does them well she does them well i like them i like and if you know me on this channel you know that i'm a fan of ruth kadiri so i can recommend you check out her channel for romantic comedies but she she to me she cuts across two genres if you're looking for realistic, <laughs> realistic stories, life problems, <laughs> she does that too. She does that too. You know, the things that happen, like, it's like daily living. Her movies are usually like that. It's like daily life, what's happening in school, all those type of things. She's a, she's a, she's a channel that you can check out. I think you enjoy her channel very well. It does your cup of tea. Moving on. Uh, someone that a producer that does sad movies, <laughs> sad stories. Well, that does. I remember says, <laughs> like 
realistic sad story that when you watch it you'll be like god are you manika like life is wicked that type of uh, like and i'm saying saying her because the people that do sad story but they don't do it well she does it well like you will feel every single pain because she will make you feel the pain that the person inside is feeling you push already know by now let's say together Beardum Steven. <laughs> that auntie, she's not afraid to dabble into like painful, traumatic stories that you know people don't want to talk about. She would do it. And one thing I like about her is she would do it well. You see that miscarriage, you, you see rape, you, you see uh, uh, painful parents, like if you have trauma, parents, trauma, that type of thing. Whatever type of trauma you're looking for, Beard don't have it. Sexual trauma, what the mother thing? The half measures. This lady, well, I was watching it, I was like, where she was she not shy when she was writing this? <laughs> that one dealt with like sexual, like tension and problems in marriage, and I really, really enjoyed it. So, if that's your cup of tea, if you're someone that likes to think a lot, that you are very is it philosophical, a bit psychological, you enjoy those type of things, check out Beyonce. She has it in abundance. Jobba, half measures, and uh, he's bitters. Tiwa's baggage. Are you hearing the name of all this? Is? Problem, problem. Biodun Steven is the person for you. Just check out Biodun Steven's channel on YouTube. You have it. Good measure. Press down. Check it together. I'm running over. So, what other. Um, <clears throat> so, if you're looking for um, another a channel where <laughs> they used to produce uh, movies that is like they're supposed to convert to series. So, if you're looking for a channel that, you know, daily life almost similar to Ruth Kadiri but longer and clean picture quality they have story but it's just long if that's something if you enjoy watching like long movies some people I know that they need something that will take their attention span for a long period of time I'm not the one I'm not the one you check out Uchi Nangunabot TV honestly I really like uh, Mr. Uchi Nangunabot's channel I think that whatever they do there I think that they are deliberate in their scripts and everything but is long they've had they have movie that like three hours and 20 something minutes like why 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 i don't have the mental capacity for that but i think that their stories are usually very good and they hire like good cast they do well but it's just that it's long and if that's something that you enjoy please check him out this man they pull views so don't play yes so another person that does not that is not afraid of trauma that i think you check out her channel because i think she's very good She's not afraid of trauma and and if you enjoy seeing young people like looking good or, or young people living, young people dealing with life, dealing with trauma or whatever it is, just navigating life. If you're looking for if it's if that's your cup of tea, if that's something you enjoy, check out Diana Rosset Steven. Diana does not fail to keep people in like she at this point I feel like she enjoys it. Killing people. Like you don't be watching the movie, you fall in love with the character, the next thing, poof. She has taken that person out. I think she knows, or whoever writes for her, or she comes up with a story, I think she knows how to come up with those type of scripts that will be engaging, that will hold their attention. You would love the character so much before she takes them away from you. Diana does that very well. And I'm so proud of Diana because she's a young independent producer and she's doing it well. Like, when you watch her videos or her movies, it is always so clean. It is like Netflix standard. It is very good. And that's what I love to see in young filmmakers. Okay. And then, hmm, next. If you're looking for mature romance with a little bit of complications, mostly with happy endings, most times. It's not all the time. But not just straightforward love stories like good rapi sounds on. If you're looking for a love story, mature romance that will get you like in your feelings and all of that, it make you giggle some at some point. Then, um, if you're looking for a, a channel that has like where their characters have more to them than just the basic man and woman fall in love with each other, there's always a depth to their character. There's always character um, development with her characters. This person, as I'm already saying, I, I believe that people should know. Let's say together, you check Omoni Oboli production. I love. How many of you on YouTube? Anywhere else? I don't know. I'm not a fan of her work anywhere else. But you see how many of you on YouTube? This week she has not brought us anything and I'm not happy. I'm not happy about it. I'm, whenever I see her, I'm like, ooh, like, you know that 
happiness that used to catch you when you're under your blanket. <laughs> and it's a little free, it's a little cool. That's how I used to feel whenever I see Omoni Oboli's this thing pop up. Omoni Oboli tells mature stories. There's always depth to her characters. There's always something that the most recent one I just saw is the one that had Bam Bam and Majid Michael. Oh my god. I was giddy. Like, ah! God, I used to fall in love quick. <laughs> I was so giddy. Like, I love, 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 love Omoni Oboli's stories on YouTube. You people should check out Omoni. Don't sleep on her channel. I love it so much. And the people she used, Kai Yakata. She uses one director mainly, this great Valle Duce. And Bolaji Ogumola uses him too. And they tell similar stories, in my opinion. And I really enjoy this, watching these two channels. So I think it's a testament to the work of the director. You can pretty much tell his work. He's good at telling love stories. I love them. So if you're looking for mature romance, not the one that they will say, I like it, talk your own, not that bullshit. Mm -mm. If you're looking for adults, you know, people that are like, if you're. Check out Omoni Oboli and Bolaji Okumola TV. So, I think we should stop here. I'll think of some more. There are no like serious action or thrillers, and I won't even watch it, even if they are. So, these are the ones for you too. Maybe when I come back, I'll come and talk about Netflix Prime and where you can, the people that you should check out if you want to, you know, see their movies. I believe with this guide. Any day, maybe you from Monday, you feel like romance, you know what to go and search. Mm? If you feel like realistic life, you want to see what's happening in Nigeria, in case you're in the diaspora, you can search it out. And yeah, this one will give you a guide. And if you're not yet versed in Nollywood, if it's not something that you enjoy, this one can slowly ease you into Nollywood. And I don't want to hear any Nigerian say, I don't like, I, Nollywood is not my cup of tea. Go and find something to sit down. It's, it must be your cup of tea as far as I'm here, as far as I'm around. Yes. I will make all of you like Nollywood. All right? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are. Please leave a comment, leave a like, share it, and tell someone to tell somebody. And I will catch you in my next one. Bye.